Here is Fox's Jesse Waters. This is on the uh, five. Whether uh, Biden has a winning strategy here with all these court cases against uh, Trump. Leave the White House more than once a week. Ask Bill and Barack to raise money for you and hope a pop star endorses you. Jessica, this is not the re-election strategy of a winning campaign. This smacks of desperation and the fact that he's clinging to Taylor Swift, who he couldn't even pick out of a lineup without Jill going like this. That's Taylor. Tells me everything you know about is Joe Biden. Is the strategy to owe $83 million for defaming a woman that you sexually assaulted? I would love Taylor Swift's endorsement. Any politician would. I but I like you people like I just Kid said, Rock. Because that was the news from the weekend on that side. And then Joe Biden was 15 Authentic minutes endorsements. late to church. And you think it's the end of the world. Late to church. He goes to church. You want to talk? Let's he talk about that. Let's talk about that lawsuit people. then. Go ahead, Jessica. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are that you shouldn't sexually assault people and then you shouldn't defame okay, them. Okay, was he found guilty of sexual <laughs> yes, he assault? Was. He was a he criminal? Was, by a jury. was a criminal? It was, it says, no, it was civil. civil. Yeah. Oh, that means it, it doesn't a- count? Okay. It means it's not a guilty verdict. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, it's always nice to bring something up that has that nothing to do to with your- the topic. It does. You said the campaign strategy. You know, just stop interrupting everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Long week ahead. Yes, it's only Monday. Yeah. You're arguing for two now. Oh. I guess uh, the Gutfeld didn't wasn't even aware that to prove the defamation, you need at least in a in the context of a civil uh, case, you need to prove it's not the same standard of proof that you would in a criminal case, uh, but you need to prove that the underlying that the the, the defamer knew what he was saying was untrue. And therefore, he had to, his denials and claims that she was out for money, he knew this to be untrue. The court yeah. had to find that uh, as, a, as uh, a, a, a fundamental reality. Also, incidentally, it's also the arguments that people make when they say that this person should be kept off the ballot because they were involved in insurrection. These are civil proceedings. It happens. These type of, uh, of, of, of hearings and rulings happen every single day. There's some other defamation case that we've never heard of that's happening right now, where a court is in a civil proceeding finding that the underlying case was the case. It's so ridiculous. Uh, and I think she put it well, like, uh, the deployment of people like Jesse Waters of words like lawfare, as you see what's happening in Ecuador or, or whatever, or Guatemala, um, particularly right now, like like actual lawfare where the legal institutions are being cynically deployed against candidates because they're trying to fight corruption. To see Trump use that as if he's some sort of like freedom fighting reformer, and the thing that they're coming after him is something he's doing in just broad daylight of defaming women who have accused him of sexual assault. Salt. Like, yeah, like maybe if you're going to go up against a deep state, don't give the deep state one right over the plate like that.